Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this video about manifesting in 2023. So it came up in the daily Twin Flame reading today about affirming and really changing our thoughts to create what we want in our reality. And the angels have really guided me to, you know, use this picture for this year to remind us that if we dream and we believe, then we can achieve. Why? Because our thoughts have power. We were created in God's image. And God is a creator of worlds. And we are a creator, a co-creator, because we work with him and that the angels and our guides and the law of attraction to create our reality the way we want it to be. So if you've been doing things in your life and you haven't really got what you wanted yet, you know, this is a sign now to make changes. It's the perfect time as we begin a new year to change our thoughts and uplift our vibration to create our reality in a new way. Thoughts become things. If you go there in the mind, you go there in the body. It's so powerful how the law of attraction brings in all the things we desire when we are open to it. Thoughts become things. So start to believe in that. You have power. You are a creator of your reality. You are the I am presence within your own life. I am successful. I am valuable. I am living the life of my dreams. I am in a wonderful, loving relationship. These are the words of creation. And when we say thank you, it creates gratitude for that. I am in a wonderful, loving relationship. Thank you. So you're affirming what you want with a creation energy and you're saying thank you to the universe for that. I am successful. Thank you. So what the angels would like you to do today is a quick way to begin to change things in your life is think about five things that you want to create in your reality right now and write them down in the here and now as an I am statement. I am living my best life. I am financially free. Whatever you want, you know what it is for you. I am, and then say thank you. You may want to put that on your vision board. You may want to repeat it to yourself a hundred times a day because we have to shift what's in our subconscious. And our subconscious is created through childhood what our parents tell us, what society tells us, what we grow up knowing, what we're taught at school, that we are a product of our environment. So also the people we spend time with and the things we pay attention to affects what we are doing and how we are behaving. So if you're around negativity, you're going to be feeling negative. If you're around positivity, you're going to be feeling positive because we are a product also of our environment. And we can also choose to change the type of environment we are subjecting ourselves to. So if you don't like the results that you are having in your life, if you don't like the things you're doing in your life, if things aren't serving you anymore, you have the power to change. No matter what the ego is saying to you about what if scenarios, what if I can't pay my bills if I leave and do that? What if I, I do this and I fail? The ego can say all kinds of things. We have to know that we are more powerful than that ego or what was. We have the power now to change and be at peace. So what I'm going to do is I've got my deck here, Romantic Love Oracle and Affirmations, and I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to pull out five cards. And these five cards may also be things that you want to create in your life or things that you need to work on or even deep subconscious wounds and fears that need to be released and healed. Using the affirmation I am valuable is a big message about releasing self-worth issues and feeling at peace with your journey and knowing that you deserve the world. So thank you angels. What do we need to know or what can we use to feel at peace, to manifest, to create. So we've got three there, but I want five. Can I have another two, please, angels? What do we need to know as twin flames? So I've got actually got six coming through here. 
So this is a deck that I designed to be used as an oracle deck to give guidance and as an affirmation deck. So, you know, if you just wanted to know what the affirmation of the day is, you can pull a card. Or if you want to know what's going on within your own life or your twin flame journey, you can pull a card. So this is also going to give guidance as well as an affirmation. An affirmation, I am, thank you. So the first one is, I am safe, thank you. So the angels want you to know that you are protected. Now this really resonates with the divine masculine energy right now because the masculines are surrounded right now by Archangel Michael and they may have been going through either lately or today or in the past stomach issues which are about the need to feel safe and you know if they're in fear, if they're worried about the unknown, if they're not sure what's next, if they're afraid of making changes. Knowing that they are safe allows them to come forward to you and to make changes. I am safe. Thank you. So the angels want you to know that you are protected and you are safe in everything that you do and in every place that you go. The angels are with you. You are not alone. You do not walk on this path alone. And I am loved and safe. So maybe you think, well, I know I'm safe, but I want to feel loved and safe. And that's where the angels are. They're saying you are loved and you are safe. I am loved, I am safe, and I am loved and safe. Thank you. Angels are all around you. So this is why you may see the numbers 444, because the angels are letting you know they are with you and that you are on the right path. They may show you feathers, uh, pennies and coins. They may show you things about angels. You know, you may see an angel wing like these. You know, whatever you see connected with the angels, you may hear a song about angels. It's reminding you that you are not only loved, but you are safe because you are supported. I am safe, thank you. I am loved and safe, thank you. So this is also about stability. You know, when we need to feel safe and loved, we may be feeling that we're missing out on something. We may be missing attention from our twin. We may be feeling unloved. We may be feeling lonely. We may be feeling that we need stability in our life and that's what we need. So when you affirm I am loved and safe, then you're bringing that in so you'll no longer desire it from others and you won't feel fear around a situation. You'll feel complete and whole. I honour myself. I am loved. I am safe. I am supported and I honour myself, thank you. So this is about appreciating how far you've come. So when you appreciate how far you've come on this journey and in this school of life, instead of wishing you had more or thinking you've done something wrong or you know beating yourself up because you haven't yet achieved results, this is about honouring yourself and saying, I am actually doing okay. I've learned so much in my life and I'm so strong now, thank you. So there's many ways you can put this into an affirmation. And they're giving me fear, letting go of that fear. I appreciate myself. I appreciate how far I have come. I honour myself. I am amazing. Thank you. So you are honouring yourself by realising how amazing you are. That doesn't mean you're being vain. It means you're being honest with yourself and you are appreciating yourself for who you are and where you are right now. I am in a wonderful, loving relationship. And this is the one I said before. Create the feeling of being in a relationship. So to manifest the relationship, create the feeling of it now. Regardless of what's going on in the connection or the outside world, I am in a wonderful, loving relationship. Thank you. And when you say it over and over, this may be the one that you need to work on. Say this over and over and over, write it down. Maybe have it as your screensaver on your phone. And whenever you see that statement, it brings in the feeling of love. So when you create the feeling, you are shifting out of the energy of fear and what was into the energy of what will be and the energy of faith. I am in a wonderful, loving relationship. I am as a creation. So you're creating the feeling of being in that wonderful, loving relationship. And that will manifest it for you in the physical world. I am loving. Why? Because you deserve love. You deserve love. So if you want to feel more loved or more loving, 
you know if you want to take those walls back down that you may have built up know that you deserve love you deserve to be in this wonderful loving relationship that you dream about when you dream you believe you achieve i am loving thank you and there is a new beginning ahead i am ready to start again and where are we we're at the beginning of a new year and this really resonates with the daily twin flame reading today especially if you've seen the number 15 or 1515 15 or 1551 it's the universe showing you that you are ready to begin again there's a new beginning ahead for you a wonderful loving relationship with your twin there is a new beginning ahead so use the affirmation i am ready to start again thank you i am in a wonderful loving relationship thank you i honor myself and i appreciate how far i have come thank you i am loving and i deserve love thank you i am loved and i am safe thank you the angels are all around me thank you i am safe and i am protected thank you so work on raising your vibration today and changing your core beliefs the things that you may have been programmed to think you know that you're changing those things because you know that you do deserve love and that you do deserve to be in a wonderful loving relationship and there is a new beginning ahead and it doesn't matter what people say or what people do it doesn't matter what people have said in the past or done in the past the power is now and in this moment now you have the power to change it I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.